Hello everyone, UK here, and welcome to this guide for the brand new tall tale, The Legend of Monkey Island. I've tried to give you a complete guide without wasting too much of your time. I have a few guides on my channel going through a few other commendations, so check them out too if you'd like. I also tried my best to cut out some major dialogue spoilers so you can enjoy them for yourself. Let me know in the comments section what you think about this brand new tall tale. And with that said, let's get straight into the guide. To start the legend of Monkey Island, find Kate Capstan's tent on the beach at an outpost. Vote on the tall tale using the book on the small table. After the dialogue with Kate completes, you'll be able to sail through a portal just like in a pirate's life. When you exit the Sea of the Damned, you'll see the wonderful Melee Island. To begin this guide, we're going to hunt for 55 pieces of eight. Collecting 45 coins will allow us to purchase the chef's outfit. Starting at the main dock, make your way down to these barrels. You'll find the first crate. A little further down the dock, a coin will be on top of a barrel, followed by two more crates to check. Remember, you may not see any coins in certain crates in my run, but they could be there in your game. Just as long as you check all locations from this video, you should be able to find all pieces of eight. Now turn right up the dock to a building with a small crane on top. To the left, you'll see a small shack with the crate. Across from here is another coin on top of a barrel that can be collected. Then around the back of the small shack, another crate will be on the ground. With the large dock and crane area completed, you'll want to head up to lookout point. As long as you stay on the mountain pass, you'll make your way to the top. When you reach the top of the mountain, Lookout will be standing by the fire. Speak to him and select the third option. This will distract him and you'll be able to steal his pouch of coins. Now make your way back down the mountain to the docks. To the right side of Scum Bar, there will be three more crates to search, along with one coin sitting on top of a barrel. In one of these three crates will be your pouch of coins. Once you've searched all three boxes and grabbed the borrow coin, it's time to head inside Scum Bar. As you enter, look to your right. There will be a pirate passed out along with five coins on the table. You can pick up all five of these coins. Leave Scum Bar and follow the curved road that leads into town. On the right side, there will be one crate to search along with one coin on top of a barrel. On the opposite side of the street, there are a set of small stairs that lead up to a second crate to search in this area. Continue walking into town until you pass the clock tower. On the left side of this area, there will be one crate to search along with one coin on top of a barrel. Now head down the alleyway to the right of the church. This area has two crates to search along with one coin sitting on top of a barrel. Turn back up the alleyway and enter the church. There are six chairs on the left and six chairs on the right of the room. There will be one coin sitting on each side that appears on one of six chairs, totaling two coins. At the back of the room, there are two cupboards along with a bowl of two coins sitting on top of the left cupboard. Collect both coins, then search both cupboards to find a pouch of coins. And lastly, there is one more cupboard to search, which is located in the prison. Now that you've searched all crates in the area, this will give you a total of 55 coins. Now that we have all the coins, head back to Scum Bar. Go to the kitchen and speak to the chef. Select the third option of his dialogue. This will now allow you to buy the chef's hey, outfit that can be purchased at the here. shop, Can't which is where there. we have to go next. When you enter the shop, oh, walk yeah. over to the table and you'll see a small present. With all those coins that we collected at the beginning of the guide, we can now purchase the chef's outfit. In the corner of the shop will be a clothing chest. You'll now need to equip the chef's costume. Now with everything purchased and equipped, head back to Scum Bar. Enter the kitchen, the chef will give you some dialogue and begin to go on his break. After he leaves, there'll be a cupboard in the corner. Open the cupboard to get another pouch of coins. 
Over on the table, there will be a recipe book. Continue through the book to have the recipe for root beard stewed meat added to your inventory. Nearly all the ingredients for the root beard stewed meat are located inside the kitchen. Dice the onions and slice the leek, then place everything into the cooking pot. The hunk of meat will be on the back table, root beer sprinkles will be on the shelf, and the flour will be on the rack. Collect the key from the back wall and open the door. Here we have to do a little bit of fishing, but don't worry, it will only last a short time. When you catch the red herring for the final ingredient, place it in the pot to give you the root beer stewed meat. Pick up the meat and head back into town. Between the shop and church, head down to the bottom of the alleyway. A skeleton by the name of yeah, Walt will be playing the violin. After a short piece of dialogue and spitting some stuff at animals, you'll now be able to place the root beer stewed meat in the Piranha Poodle's dog bowl. This will once again have a short piece of dialogue which results in the dog killing Walt and taking some body parts. After the dogs run off, head back to Scum Bar as it's time to do a bit of stealing. But first, we need to get a few pirates drunk. In the kitchen, take out your tankard and refill it with the extra potent grog. Walk out to the main bar to find three thirsty pirates drinking. Here, you will have to use your own tankard to fill all three pirates' tankards three times over. You can only pour three cups per refill, so you have to head back to the kitchen to refill your own tankard. Once you refill each pirate's cups three times each, the three pirates will fall fast asleep. Now that they're asleep, you can steal pieces of it from two of the thirsty pirates, while the other pirate will have the clock tower key. Steal the key and head back into town to unlock the clock tower. There are two doors to unlock, the ground floor and the clock tower room at the top. When you enter the room, you'll see another pouch of coins on the table. Make sure to collect these. Looking at the clock tower itself, the skeleton arm will be jammed inside. Interact with it to remove the arm. Keep an eye on the arm though, as it will drop to the floor. We're going to use that for the next piece of the tall tale. Now, grab the helm and spin the wheel all the way to the left until the clock strikes midnight. You'll know you have successfully completed this when the clock tower's bell start to ring. Grab the arm from the ground and once again head down the alleyway beside the church. We are going to begin rebuilding the skeleton to bring it back to life. On the barrel beside the skeleton, there will be another pouch of coins for you to collect. Beside the coins, you'll see a pack of gunpowder gummies. Collect the gummies and head to the prison located on the left side of the church. It's time to free Otis. Place both gummies inside both locks of the prison cell doors. Now with all those coins we've been collecting, head back to the shop. When you enter, look to your right and you'll see a barrel with some gunpowder fuses on top. Purchase the fuses and head back to the prison. Just like the gummies, place the gunpowder fuses in each of the prison cell door locks. Pull out your lantern and use it to light the fuses. A few seconds later, the cell doors will explode open, freeing Otis. In the right prison cell, you'll find a skeleton arm on the wall. Grab it, return down the alleyway and place it on the skeleton on the ground. That's now two of four skeleton pieces collected. Head back to the prison. On a table, you'll find a claw hammer. Collect the hammer and walk it all the way back to the docks. Just for now, we're going to set it on the ground so we can use the crane to remove cargo out of the water. Jump into the water and locate the cargo crate. Take out your sword and cut both sides of the rope. We can now use the crane to lift the cargo up out of the water. There are two pulley systems here. One to move the crane hook up and down, and the other to move the crane left and right. Use these pulleys to lift the cargo out of the water and place it on the dock. Then, use the claw hammer to open the cargo crate. Now take the crate and bring it to the citizen of Melee in town. He will reward you with a meet and greet ticket to enter the mansion later in the tall tale. Now it's time to collect Murray's head. Go back to the prison where you freed Otis. He left behind his best friend, Captain Coco. Now, bring Coco to Scum Bar. In the room with the pirate leaders, you'll see Murray's head above the fireplace. Use Captain Coco and swap it with the head of Murray. While we have Murray's skull, there is a commendation we can do called Guided Tour. This requires you to bring the skull to nine different locations. First, bring Murray's head all the way to the top of the lookout for the first location. When you get to each location, Murray will start talking with some dialogue. This is basically letting you know that a location has been triggered. Next, bring the skull to one of the docks. Murray will again start talking. Now, bring the skull back into Scum Bar. When you walk to the clock tower area, Murray's dialogue will begin for the fourth location. Since you now have the clock tower unlocked, bring Murray to the top. Dialogue will be triggered just before you enter the clock room. 
Hop down from the clock car and enter the shop for the sixth location. With three locations left, bring Murray to the church, followed by the prison for the seventh and eighth locations. Lastly, bring Murray down the alleyway where you'll be placing the head on the skeleton body. Murray will start dialogue related to the tall tale. Once this finishes, walk up the alleyway a bit, then turn back to trigger the final location for the guided tour commendation. With all the locations out of the way, we can continue the tall tale. Place Murray's head down onto the skeleton body. This now leaves only one piece of Walt to collect. Now we want to walk to the citizen of Melee as he's currently selling a cute monkey toy. So far, you'll have collected all coins possible up to this point. Purchase the toy and for the 19th million time today, we're going to head back to Scum Bar. And yes, at this point, I'm sick of saying the word scum. We're going to give the toy to Spiffy the dog, but first we're going to listen to all four riveting pieces of dialogue. There is a commendation called Groggy Dog Story, which requires you to listen to Spiffy's dialogue six times. When you've listened to all four pieces of dialogue, you can now give Spiffy the toy. When you've taken the final skeleton piece from Spiffy, talk to him one more time for the fifth piece of dialogue. And don't worry, we'll be back to Scum Bar again. Now that we have the last piece of the skeleton, head back to the alleyway to complete rebuilding Walt, but with Murray's head. Murray will walk down the alley and head to the ghost skeleton in front of the mansion. Since we also collected the meet and greet ticket earlier, this now gives us access to the mansion to meet Guybrush. Head up to the mansion and open the front door. You'll also see a pouch of pieces of eight on the table to the right. This pouch can also appear on the right side of the staircase on a small table. Knock on the door to Guybrush's office a total of five times to bust through the door. When you enter the room, in the right corner you'll see a small cupboard, open to find another pouch of coins. After Guybrush's dialogue completes and falls asleep, you'll be able to enter the bedroom to the left. Open the curtains and on the floor to the right will be your final pouch of coins. This now gives us a total of 200 pieces of eight. Go to the bed and pull back the sheets. Pick up the ladder and the key to the mighty pirate chest. Use the key on the mighty pirate chest and take out the bottle of root beer. You can now head out to the front of the mansion where the ghost of LeChuck appears. After LeChuck leaves, you'll have to fight several waves of ghost skeletons. Using the bottle of root beer, spray the ghost skeletons. Using the bottle to kill 10 skeletons will earn you the commendation to pop up pirates. When you finish killing all waves of ghost skeletons, in the town, the door will open to Karina. Head inside and place the bottle of root beer in the cauldron. When you finish speaking to Karina, she gives you the option to stay in town and explore, or you can speak to her and leave the island. Leave Karina and around the corner, you can buy the last item from the Citizen of Melee. If you followed this video correctly, you'll have a total of 200 pieces of eight remaining. You can now purchase the History of Melee Island book. This earns you the Historian Commendation. Now that we have every location unlocked for the Tall Tale, we're going to complete the commendation Memoir of a Legend Volume 1. This requires you to sit in 10 different locations. The first location is in front of Scum Bar, beside a rowboat. Sit on top of the barrel. Next, from the beach in front of Scum Bar, sit on the crate for the second location. Head inside Scum Bar, walk to the pirate leaders, and in front of them, sit on this seat. In the clock tower area, there is a barrel just in front of the Citizen of Melee. Walk to the top of the clock tower, but instead of walking to the clock room, take a left and scale the roofs. Follow this walkway and hop on top of this roof. You'll be looking over the church area, look down and sit on top of the house. Inside of the shop, there is a seat to the right of the clothing chest. Head down the alley to where the piranha poodles were and sit on this barrel. Next, go to the prison and on the left of the table, sit on this crate. Now make your way to the mansion where you'll find this crate that you can sit on. For the final memoir, head inside the mansion and sit on this seat. This will now complete the commendation for Memoir of a Legend Volume 1. Now for the last time in the video, we're going to head back to Scum Bar and speak to Spiffy the dog. After speaking to Spiffy and hearing the sixth and final piece of dialogue, this will unlock the commendation Groggy Dog Story. If you look to the right of the fireplace, you'll see a poster of Guybrush. Interacting with the poster will earn you the commendation, Elected Legend. Before you leave the bar, sit down on a seat. This will also earn you the commendation in good company. This is now the end of the tall tale, The Legend of Monkey Island. 
head back into town, speak to Karina and select the option. I've done all I can here. I'm ready to go home. By selecting this option completes the tall tale. You'll receive the completion combination as you black screen back to your boat in the Sea of the Damned. And that's it for this complete guide of Monkey Island. Take a look at my channel for extra guides on Monkey Island commendations. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.